guys, Erin here again, and today I am in my kitchen because I'm going to be making my version of Bulletproof coffee. I do not use any of the Bulletproof products. I have hacked my array around it and found quality ingredients that allow me to have the exact same benefits but without the kind of uh, crazy expense. So I am pretty proud of this recipe um, and I like my bulletproof coffee. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's begin making coffee. <laughs> All right guys, so how I make my coffee is I go about getting approximately 10 ounces of water, which is about one cup of water um, from my Berkey filter. It's kind of just filtered water. And then I go ahead and put that on my kettle um, and heat it up and then I go and start to grind my coffee beans. My coffee beans are from Costco. Maybe you weren't expecting that. Um, but these are organic coffee beans from Guatemala. They are wet processed, they are from a single source, and they are basically a cheaper, quicker hack to the Bulletproof coffee. I think Bulletproof coffee is something like 20 bucks or $18 per pound. It's something totally ridiculous. And this is um, two pounds of coffee, so yay. And I think this was $12.99. So if you don't have a Costco membership, um, and there's a Costco near you, I would totally get one because this is great coffee. I like it. It tastes good. Um, it's clean. Um, it, wet processing is the way that you remove the mold or the toxic um, microtoxins or whatever the Bulletproof calls them. Um, from the coffee, so uh, if you're trying to avoid that, all you have to do is find coffee that's been wet processed from a single source, um, and organic is traditionally better. Um, I also like this one because it's fair trade, so there we go. So I take that and I grind it um, up. Uh, the grinder that I use is a burr grinder. Um, it's from Rock Grinders. Uh, burr grinders just kind of grind the beans in a way that kind of open them up and make the flavor better, um, and it makes it so it brews better. So I just go ahead and grind that up and then I put it in this little contraption called an AeroPress. And so it's basically, this is my coffee maker. Um, and the reason why we use this as a coffee maker is one, um, usually it's, it's just my, me and my husband, so we don't need to make a big pot of coffee. We like to kind of heat it up on the, um, through the kettle. The thing I will say about coffee makers is that um, this one is nice because you, basically have three pieces um, and then we bought a metal coffee filter so really we don't have to go about using any paper filters it makes it so our coffee making is completely sustainable um, I don't like Keurig um, because K-cups like the individual cups you're just gonna toss them away and they're like horribly hard to recycle um, so they basically just sit in the landfill so this is just a sustainable way to make coffee um, and then also uh, if you don't know coffee machines are one of the uh, bigger sources of basically everything nasty that could be in your kitchen. Um, I will link a bunch of videos below and I'm just gonna kind of leave it at that, but coffee makers in general just are bacteria holders. Um, Keurig cups especially, uh, I, they are pretty moldy. And I think Keurig actually recommends that you're supposed to clean it out through a full cleaning cycle every other day. And if you're not doing that and you have a Keurig, you might want to watch the videos that I'm going to put below, but I'm just going to leave it at that. So, um, so yep, I use my AeroPress. This is super great if you are um, a single individual and you don't want to have a bulky coffee coffee maker. This is it, it's it's like a French press. It's plastic. Um, it's not going to break. So, yeah, I like AeroPress. <laughs> um, so then. Once I brewed the coffee, I started to put um, my various different things in the coffee. So what did I put in there? I put one tablespoon of butter and one tablespoon of MCT oil. And normally, if I was just gonna make a traditional, regular Bulletproof coffee, I would do two tablespoons of butter, but this one's a little bit different and um, it's kind of my sneaky way in order to get your collagen in. So I did um, one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of MCT oil, and then I added in two tablespoons of my collagen powder. And my collagen powder um, is from Zint. 
It's a really great collagen. It's from grass-fed cows. So if you're unfamiliar with what collagen does for you, it does a lot. It's basically 30% of your body has uh, is made up in some way of collagen or has some sort of collagen aspect or need requirement, whatever you want to call it, to it. So collagen um, is something that decreases in our bodies in our 20s and uh, it just slowly decreases every year, every every time you have a birthday, there goes some more collagen. And so if you are not supplementing it in your diet, you are, you know, having less of it in your body. So collagen does everything from, you know, it's in your hair, it's in your skin, it's in your um, joints, your intestines, on the lining of all your organs. So yeah, collagen does a lot within your body and if you're not supplementing again, you're losing it. And so you're gonna lose the firmness in your skin. Um, and if you are somebody who is on a weight loss journey, weight loss quest through keto, you might want to get some collagen in there because I'm using it so that I hopefully don't get things like loose skin. Um, it's been um, reported that it can help with uh, cellulite. So collagen is super important and your body decreases its production in it. So you may be thinking, well, maybe I get it in my diet already. Maybe I get it in my food. And no, unless you're drinking bone broth, you're really not getting collagen from any true source. So it's something that you do really need to supplement in there. So getting it into my Bulletproof coffee is the way that I go about doing it. Um, so I put that two tablespoons of collagen in versus doing another tablespoon of butter because, um, you know, I don't need the extra calories. So, um, or I just, I don't need all that extra in there as well. So one tablespoon of MCT oil is 100 calories. One tablespoon of butter is 100 calories, and two tablespoons of this collagen is 45 calories. So in total, about 245 calories are in this coffee. So I don't just stop at the coffee, the MCT oil, the butter, or the collagen. I go a little bit further and turn this into a more kind of chai latte. I add just a small dash of cinnamon. I'm not kidding you, you cannot go crazy on this stuff. You need to just literally just dash it in there. Um, cinnamon does have carbs and so just a sprinkle, just, just a tiny little sprinkle. Um, basically less than an eighth of a teaspoon is what you're after. Um, and then I do a eighth of a teaspoon of my favorite spice, you guys, and that's turmeric. Um, I love this. It's, you know, good for inflammation and it's good for fat burning. So that plus the coffee plus the uh, MCT oil gets me in that good fat burning mode. Um, so I like adding that. Turmeric has a very distinctive taste and so that's why I blend it with the cinnamon. Um, cinnamon's a great spice. Um, I use Ceylon cinnamon, uh, which is the most natural version of cinnamon. Um, and the cinnamon kind of tones it down. And to kind of tone it down just a little bit further, I do add five drops of um, sweet leaf um, vanilla cream stevia to kind of mellow out the flavor. And overall, I get a very creamy uh, yellow beverage that is super tasty and is super beneficial to my body. And I think when you're thinking about, well, why is it that I'm gonna go ahead and drink coffee that is full of fat and full of butter? And I think there's a lot of intention behind it and people will hear things where, you know, it's a magic bullet, you know, it's bulletproof. It'll make it so you feel amazing and you will lose tons and tons of weight and that's sort of true. Um, it is a essentially a meal replacement. That's what you're using it as. Um, it is, if you make it right, it will kind of not spike your insulin and will keep you in kind of that fat burning mode. Um, I like to use, you know, things like MCT oil and butter and all the other ingredients that I put in there because I am drinking this with the intention of actually getting good health from it. I'm not using this 100% as a supplement to other meals. Um, it is, you know, essentially a meal replacement. I am somebody who is on the go. And so I do have other things that I need to do in my day and kind of get through. And so for me, it is really important that every calorie, every meal that I'm having is, you know, not only keto compliant, but it's also something that's gonna actually be benefiting me and giving me kind of extra nutrients and doing more good for my body than just um, just being keto. So just taking it to the next level. Um, and 
yeah, my collagen, turmeric, cinnamon, bulletproof is totally doing that for me. And um, I love it. I love the taste. Um, it's really good. So I like doing bulletproof coffee uh, versus doing like a keto coffee because keto coffee is, I think, where you would use more of your coconut oil or your um, heavy whipping cream, like that combo. And to me, you know, Coconut oil is amazing. I'm never gonna dog coconut oil, but MCT oil is, you know, a higher amount of MCTs. It's just pure MCT oil. And that's what you want. That's the uh, fat burning thermogenic um, component of coconut oil. So if you can get it in a higher quantity, um, get it in a higher quantity. And with butter, um, butter contains no carbs, whereas heavy whipping cream does contain about half a gram of carbs. So if I mix that in with my spices, I would probably be fairly close to get to one gram of carb within my Bulletproof coffee. And the intention of drinking a Bulletproof coffee is not to spike your insulin. So I know that if I had that much in there, I might be kind of close to doing that. And so uh, I, I don't wanna do that. So. Um, that's kind of the reason why I do MCT oil and butter versus heavy whipping cream and coconut oil. Um, heavy whipping cream and coconut oil are definitely going to taste really good. I mean, that's just two awesome things getting mixed together. But, um, you know, the intention behind drinking it is to, you know, kind of have something that will keep me full and sustain for a long period of time. And then if I can go in there and get some other sneaky benefits, um, I will do that. And again, this does not taste bad at all. This totally reminds me of like a chai latte. So if you like that flavor, you'll definitely like this. Um, Butter mixing with collagen does kind of almost get to that same taste of heavy whipping cream and you get all those benefits. So um, you should be trying to get one to three servings of collagen into your diet per day, which is totally crazy. Um, I'm happy with the one that I'm usually able to get um, and that's just again through my Bulletproof coffee. So yeah guys, that's how I make my Bulletproof coffee. I really truly hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I find that this coffee helps me stay energized, it helps me stay focused throughout the day and it just kind of perks me up. It keeps me sustained so I'm not hungry. Um, earlier than I need to be and uh, yeah, I, I really truly think that if you're gonna be drinking a fat coffee, you should put some intention behind it and kind of put things in it that are gonna kind of take your health to the next level and not just be a meal replacement. It needs to be so much more than that because your calories and what you consume in the day do really matter and if you are kind of just adding a little bit more in there, you're gonna get a little bit more. And so that's why I kind of like my Bulletproof coffee versus just a traditional like coffee with cream um, in the morning. It does keep me full, it keeps me sustained, all that stuff. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are somebody who is new to my channel, um, please subscribe because I do put out content like this at least three times a week. I post regularly and um, all my videos are focused on finding my optimal health as well as kind of just going through my own ketogenic diet journey. So again, until next time, I hope you guys are well, everything's going great, and I will see you all later. Bye!